Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this video is going to be a, a haul, a few clothing items and some beauty like makeup. Just, and these are things I didn't buy in one day. I'm not rich like that. <laughs> these are things that I've accumulated over, you know, a period of time. I can't give you, oh, let's say like a month or so ish. Some things I have worn, used, or whatever, but I haven't actually showed it in any videos yet. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let's get straight into it. Uh, what should I start with? I'll start with beauty, cause like, you know, everybody likes beauty. So I got a little bag here. It's, it's not just stuff from Mecca. It's stuff that I've gotten online from like different places and whatnot. Um, so I'll start with uh, things that I got from Princess Polly. Now started to sell MAC products and because I'm lazy and have a kid, I just can't be bothered making my way to a MAC store and buying stuff. So I just find it like easier just to, you know, order online. So with that being said, I got, uh, I got two items from MAC plus some samples. So I got... Uh, the Macwell lip liner, which I've got on my lips right now, and I've only outlined my lips. Uh, I'm not putting anything on my lips right now, it's just because it's it's winter here in Australia, but my lips are so bad right now. It's not even funny. Like they are like really burnt. It looks like I've I'm wearing lipstick, but really <laughs> it's just because they're burnt. They're cracked up close. They look disgusting they feel disgusting so i'm just like putting carmex and um blistex on because oh my god cracked so yeah in the end i ended up getting the well lip liner because i've got the well mac lipstick which i love it's like a little bit darker than my um than my lip color but it's just it's like an everyday lip pencil because i've got decided to get a mac lip liner it's my first one and you know what i really like it so, and I get, I understand why so many people have like stripped down and well, and there's like a few other nude, uh, nude lip liners within that like range. But, um, yeah, totally love it. And I literally ordered it, I think it was like a Wednesday and by Thursday it had arrived. Like I was impressed. So I'll be shopping there. I will leave, leave the link down below, um, to Princess Polly. No. They don't even know I like bought this stuff. <laughs> it's just, just me, you know, enjoying Princess Polly. And I think because they're located like a couple of suburbs down. So yeah. The other item I got is from MAC as well. It's the strobe cream and I got it in the color. Gold light. It's really nice. It's, I'll, I'll show you. I'll probably do a little sample, but I really like it. I have dry skin, so I reckon in summer this would have a better effect on me. And I might need to do something else, like those elixir oils. Elixir? They're like from Tarte and whatnot, so I might give that a go as well. But so far, so good. They gave me a MAC False Lashes, just like a little, little teensy winty little mascara. So I'm going to give that a go and, you know, see if I like it. I'm currently using the Benefit bad gal bang mascara which you know does the job i mean can't really tell if you're wearing false eyelashes but you know whatnot i got the mac prep and prime skin base massage as well i haven't tried this one yet um so yeah i'll give this a go i'll probably try it in a video see if it makes a difference with primers i don't use a lot of primers i use like the tart tart i use the Too faced um hangover primer but that's like that's about it i also shopped online at sephora i only got like two things so i got the ooh, modern renaissance um palette which is the anastasia beverly hills brand um i will have to say it feels nice it feels very nice it feels so nice <laughs> sorry um it comes with like a, a mirror sorry but oh that's pretty bad um, comes with like a brush, which I haven't tried. I have slightly, take the brush out. I have tried a couple of colors, just like, just to test out. 
and they're so pigmented oh my god like you need the smallest amount the only colors that i'm not really like you know going crazy about is like love letter and golden ochre it's just this color here but the rest of it to be honest it's really like up my alley like I can totally understand why people like have hit pan in so many of these colors. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. This um, from Saf I bought it obviously Sephora Australia. It took two days to arrive, which you know that's pretty pretty fast. I got the Cover FX um, custom enhancer drops. I got it in sunlight. So that's that's what the bottle looks like. Um, I actually really do like it, but because I haven't been fake tanny ooh, for quite some time now, when I mix it with my lighter foundations, it does darken my foundations. So maybe when I'm like that in between like fake tan fading type of color and mix it with like the lighter foundation, I think this would work best. But um, overall, I really, really like this. This, and I mix it with my like Kat Von D um, Locket foundation real good from mecca maxima um my mom for my birthday gave oh wait wait sorry sorry i take that back i did get a zoeva face shape brush now funnily enough i thought this was like a big one so i could use for my whole face but it turns out it just works really well for like concealer and you do get it in like these little zip oh not zip like oh yeah kind of ziploc bags so like when you get it, it usually like arrives like that, which is good because it's, I don't know, like hygiene, you know how it is. So yeah, um, so this was a lot smaller. So I am looking at my larger face brushes just cause I need to upgrade. So for like concealer wise, it actually is a really good size. So I'm really happy about that. Now from Mecca Maxima, I got two things. This is more like face, stuff i got the mario badescu skincare glycolic acid toner um it says it's for like refresh exfoliate and help soften the look of fine lines and wrinkles now i don't have wrinkles but it's okay it's good to use these types of like anti-wrinkle products to prevent wrinkles yes it does help to fix wrinkles i do have like these crease lines that really bug me. Maybe I'll get some Botox or something down the track. I don't know, whenever. I can't right now. There are reasons behind it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. I do tone my face twice a day, morning and night, and moisturize my face morning and night. I only wash my face once. So I did use another one that they had and I finished like the two, I finished two bottles of it and I really like it. And it's really, really affordable. You know, so I'm going to try that one. I also got the Mari Badescu drying lotion. Now, I checked all the reviews and it's really good for like, if you get like the odd breakout or, you know, a big pimple or something, it dries it out really well. But the reviews also also said it's not good to use it um, like long term because it starts to have its, like it wears off. By that, I mean it doesn't do the same thing as to when you first bought it. So say like you use it for two months on like spots continuously, it might not do the same thing. So I don't break out a lot. I'm very mild now, but when I was younger, maybe this would have helped. But um, yeah, I'm going to give this a go. And sometimes, you know, like husband, you know, gets the odd pimple. Put some of this on him. So yeah, I wanted just to give it a go. Thanks, mum. So that's it for beauty. It's a really small haul. Now I did get a few clothing items. I got this knit because it's winter. Um, yeah, it's like a turtleneck knit. It's really loose, really comfy. I got it from Supre, which I don't shop there often. Occasionally I might like have a look inside, but to be honest, mm, it's just not my thing, but I mean, I just wanted a knitwear that I didn't want to pay so much for, so. And it's actually really good quality, surprisingly, for like 25 bucks. I mean, woo, -woo check it out. So yeah, I got that, which I've worn like two or three times. 
I also went to a Cook Eye, which um, they are an Australian store. I'm not sure if they ship to America or whatnot, but I'll leave like don't worry, I'll leave the link down below. This one is I wanted like a card again, but a really long one. So that's like the top. And then it just like it's like endless amount of fabric. Like look at that. It literally almost goes down to my ankles. Now it's really lightweight, which I really like, but the reason I got it is because I live in Queensland and winter here is not that cold. I'll be honest with you. Because I'm originally from Sydney and like when you're in Sydney, you hit like what? March and you're already like in scarves. It's what? June? Mid-June? It's cold, but it's nothing, nothing compared the same. So yeah, and it's, I like the quality of Cook Eye. They're really nice. Um... Oh, it's merino wool, 100%. No wonder it was expensive. And then I got a dress. It's like a gray black. Oh yeah, it does show up on the camera pretty well. And it comes down to like my knees because I'm sure, but somebody taller might come up just like above the knees, but mine's like below, just below the knees. And I like the neckline because it's kind of like it's not off the shoulders, but it's not like cinched at the neck. So it's a really nice, I don't know, you can kind of like wear it a little bit higher, a little bit lower. So I really, really do like that. So yeah, I think that's about it. What else have I bought? So yeah, that is my haul. It was short, sweet, well, I guess it depends how long this video will be once I've edited it. But yeah, so if you like the video, Thumbs it up. If you want to see more of these videos, if I like do little mini hauls, I mean, I know some YouTubers can get a bit overwhelming when they're like, PR unboxing. Although, I like watching them. Not because I'm jealous of, oh, they have so much stuff. It's just, I find it entertaining and relaxing seeing what people buy. Um, I find, yeah, that's, that's just how I feel. But yeah, so yeah. I hope to be doing more frequent videos. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you know, um, of like different types of videos that you want to see, leave it down below. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for hanging about for this long and bye.